What is good, Ape Nation? It's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock and break down when AMC might actually squeeze to all time highs. I'm going to break down when I believe that could happen. I'm not going to promise anything, right? I don't want to hype you up based off what I say, but I do want to show you guys some evidence about when it may actually happen based off this theory. And when you see this, it's going to make a lot of sense, okay? Now, before I break anything down, before I get into any more details, I still have to mention a couple of things real quick. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Take none of this as financial advice whatsoever. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire Ape community as a whole. And the last thing is, if you guys can, please check out the Mumu link down below and in the description. If you sign up for Mumu, the link down below and deposit 100 bucks into the account, you're guaranteed up to 15 free stocks, each worth up to $2,000. And the best part is, any could be a free AMC share, a free Tesla share, or a mix of all of them. If you also sign up, you're also going to have the chance to win $60,000 in this new sweepstakes. So please check it out before they run out. Offer ends in just two weeks. But that's out of the way. Let's get on with the video. So just to review what I made in my video from yesterday, and by the way, guys, if you're watching this video, before you watch this video, you have to watch the video from yesterday, okay? Watch the video from yesterday. That's going to give you some more context about what I'm saying. But basically, the theory I mentioned is the fact that just to start us off, we have this pattern that led to the January run-up. On this side, I have 2021. On this side, I have AMC in a more recent chart. And before the big March run-up, before March came... Remember when AMC ran up in March 2022? We had this formation and this formation. They're both very similar leading to this run up. And then we had the second run up, which was in August. Notice how AMC was in this slow uptrend, similar to that of March 2021. And then when you zoom out, like, hold on, like this, look at the chart here and then look at the chart here. We have this. We have the first top here. This is the January run up, the March run up, then the third run up, which is kind of small from this was like April. And then it came down before the big June squeeze. Okay, so if we truly are repeating this cycle, this would be like the January run up, the March run up I'm talking about. The August run up would be similar to March. And now we are about to see this April like rally. It may not be the same, but it may be similar. Because notice how there's one top, a second top, a third top, first top, second top, third, third top, okay? It really is that simple. And in order for this to be true, we need to see AMC push up a little bit more and then get another big rejection, just like this, right? And I showed you guys my target. It was like 12 to 13 bucks. It doesn't have to be perfect, but if it's close, that could be an indication of this. I don't want to promise what I'm about to say, but if we could calculate what the trends are showing us. If we calculate what is going on with AMC right now compared to the, the previous run-ups, we might be able to calculate when this thing is going to run up just like the time it ran up in June, if that makes any sense. So anyways, we saw our 2022 version of the January run-up. That was in March. Then we saw the 2022 version of the March run-up. That was in August of this year. Remember when AMC ran up when Ape came out? And now we may be seeing the uh, April run-up. We may be entering it right now. And then the question is, when is the June run-up going to happen for this next cycle that we're currently in? We might be able to calculate it. All right, let me make this simple. Let me make this simple, if that was too complicated. So what I could do is I could adjust the chart like this. So this is January, this is June, all of 2021. And then right here on a different tab, I have to open these separately, guys, because Weeble is very weird. If I try to chart, uh, they tend to overlap one another. And it's it's not very much like helpful, which is why I have to do this separately. I can't show them side by side. I'm sorry about that, but it will make sense in just a minute. Give me like a few minutes to show you this. If we use a Fibonacci time zone, and we connect the two previous major run-ups. It's not going to be perfect. It's going to look like this. And what if we do it on this end? What if we did this for 2021 during those run-ups? I want you guys to notice something. This is crazy, okay? So all I'm doing is taking a Fibonacci time zone. 
see these lines it divides the chart and with this we could actually use this time zone to give us an understanding of what happened later on so let me let me show you this we have the first yellow line the vertical one this is the january run up then the march run up and then right before the third yellow line and i know i'm i'm over i'm oversimplifying this but i'm just trying to make this as understandable and clear as possible the third yellow line here Right before it, we had another run-up that started, a mini run-up. It wasn't huge. It was just a miniature one. What is AMC doing right now? Look at this. We had the first line here. All right, this is where I started this. We have the March run-up. Then we have the August run-up. Right here, back in 2021, we had the January run-up and we had the March run-up. I mentioned to you guys in my previous video that these things may be repeating the same cycle, the same fractal. What's happening before the third line? We're already starting another run-up, right? Look at this one. Just try to ignore these vertical lines here. Just don't worry about these guys. Look at what AMC did. Let's zoom into this a little bit more. Look, one run-up, second run-up before this, this time came, the third run-up should have started the uptrend. And it's a small one. We got the first run-up, the second run-up, right before this yellow line, the run-up came. And it's, 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 it's happening in real time. Isn't that crazy? So what does this tell us about the future? If we are adjusting the charts for this, when on earth did the June run-up come? The June run-up is right before the third and fourth one in the cycle. Before the third and fourth one. All right. If we look at 2022, what is right before the third and fourth cycle? It's around March time, maybe end of February to March, like right here, sometime in March. So what I'm thinking, and this is just a theory, not financial advice, do not trade based off this. Please don't do anything. Do not expect this. This could be completely false. And AMC may, you know, it, it may take years. It may take months to actually squeeze. We don't truly know, okay? So I don't want you guys to be hyped off this. I'm not promising this. I'm not one of those people. But look at this. What we could do is this. First, what I what I want to do is this. Okay, let's draw out this pattern. Let's take this trend line. Try to roughly connect these run-ups. And we could almost do it. See how similar this is? The first peak, the second peak, the third peak, they basically followed a wedge-like pattern. I may have not drawn it out perfectly because I'm, I'm doing this like in real time as fast as possible. If you were to do it here, where's my peak? It's like around here or so. Yeah, I'm not going to try to make this perfect, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just going to try to roughly do this. Notice how we have one touch up here, second touch. The third touch may be, like I mentioned in my previous video, is 12 to 13 bucks. If AMC hits 12 to 13 bucks, or actually it's like close, it depends on the timing, right? If it takes another week, couple of weeks, it would be like in the 12s. If it happens immediately, the 13s. I would say the 12 to 14 range. If AMC hits 12 to 14, that gets a big rejection off that. That might be, that's going to be like very strong evidence of this theory. And then what could happen is we might make a very similar move as that of 2021. So we are, at the time I'm recording this, AMC is like right here around this phase. What would happen is AMC pushes up, gets rejected off the line, comes down again, big rejection. Then we finally break out of it, forming this double top like pattern, rejection, squeeze to all time highs, right? What does this mean for AMC? What could happen, not financial advice, not promising this. I'm, I want to make this as clear as possible. Do not expect this. Just a theory. If we truly are about to run, this thing might push up like this. Who knows how long it's going to take? A couple of weeks. It's about 12 bucks. Just maybe if this is right. If it doesn't happen, then it's okay, guys. But I just wanted to share this with you. All right. We get a big rejection. I don't know how low it's going to 
crash to whether it stops at eight dollars whether it comes all the way back down to five who knows who knows how low it's gonna go because maybe the market gets a big rejection something happens involving cpi who knows what it's gonna be that causes the whole market to reverse and then amc comes down maybe that's gonna happen maybe and then what's supposed to happen is sometime next year amc slowly returns Maybe Adam Aaron announces something involving a Disney deal. We break out of this, get a rejection, start coming down, and then boom. This thing explodes, just like how it did in June, right? And this thing might... I think my computer is a little bit more laggy because I'm, I have two Weeble tabs open, but it's okay. Uh, where what the heck? Here it is. I don't know what the heck I was just thinking. Of. But anyways, we might see a big, big move like this, something crazy like this. And maybe before this, maybe closer to the middle line. So hold on, maybe more like in this direction. I may have spaced it out a little bit too much, guys. Sorry about that. But this is what this suggests. It's going to be like between these two lines, which is sometime in March. Maybe as soon as February, February to March of next year. I don't know exactly when, but around that time frame. All right. We might see crazy run up to all time highs like this. This is what this theory is suggesting. I hope this is as clear as possible. Look at the Fibonacci time zones. This basically means that we're translating this pattern the 2022 version of the 2021 run-up, right? This was the January run-up style, the March run-up style, the August, uh, I'm sorry, the April mini run-up. This would be like around the May time before the June squeeze, right? There, It's, it's respecting this wedge-like pattern, similar to this. It's just that this is way more spaced out. This is gonna take way longer. It, it seems very possible. And I just think it's crazy how, how right before this third time zone, right, AMC had one last run up and a big rejection. And we are like nearing this third time zone. This was the first one, the second one, the third one. And we already started running up. And who knows if we're going to go to 12, maybe we stop at 10. Who knows? But my point is it's already respecting this. It's, it's just so crazy to me. So all, all I have to say is not financial advice. We'll see if this plays out. I'm going to keep you guys updated. Maybe in a couple of weeks, talk about this again and see if this actually happens. If it does, it's going to be amazing. It might give us a good understanding of when this thing will run. If it doesn't play out that way, completely fine. Okay, completely fine because AMC will still have squeeze potential. It'll still have the potential to run up and do all these things. I just wanted to make this as clear as possible. I just wanted to share this with you guys because I appreciate everyone. I want... Uh, you guys to know more and gain knowledge. I hope I brought more knowledge to you guys. So thank you all so much for listening. Have a great weekend. If you really like this video, please leave a like down below and comment in the video. I really appreciate it, guys. It means a lot to me. And I, I just wanted to say thank you for being in this play. It really means a lot. But nobody is forced to hold. You guys can sell if you want to. No one's forced to do anything. And everything in this video is just speculation. I'm not promising any of this. Any of it. I'm not hyping you up. Okay? Wanted to make that as clear as possible. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. AMC to the moon. And peace out.